On November 19, 2021, the team Arise, led by Adeboye and Oluwapo, assumed the student union government with Arise as their mandate. Academics, renovation, innovation, security and empowerment. Well, so far they've kept to their words and the Empower Ladukarite is another bid to fulfill the empowerment mandate. The Empower Ladukarite is an initiative to empower the students with skills and resources outside academics which will provide financial strength while maximizing its also industrial strike action break. This will commence today, March 7, 2022 and we hold for three weeks. This initiative itself consists of 20 units. The Student Union Government has partnered with Love's Entertainment Platform to produce a documentary of this remarkable initiative, which will remain a great honor in the history of this institution. Here yeah, and from now, women of this empowerment program at each unit will be projected to you. Stay tuned and enjoy the experience. My name is Jibril Olai Waju Adelabu, the production manager of Masco Tues. So Masco Tues is a shoemaking brand that focuses on the production of high-end quality shoes. We make shoes, sandals, slippers and accessories. Um, we are speaking to you from um, the program of Lautech Empowerment. Uh, this program is one of the best programs I've ever had on campus because, let me say, um, I'm doing this with utmost joy. So, and to some extent, the class is very, very interactive. The class is well detailed, well structured, and everything is being taught in respect of shoemaking. So, I believe everyone has learned one or one or two things. Yes, My name is Bela Bushrona Iwaju, a 3 level nursing student at the Aguilar University of Technology. Here at Mascot Wears, we are really, really making impact. I really want to um, thank my boss, um, Mascot, for what he has really done. Like we, we've, we've really made a lot of things, slide, um, shoes, we've made a lot. So this is um, an impactful thing, like that really made an impact. My name is Will Watife Adiboke Yowul. Um, facilitator for digital marketing for a power ladukai that the student union government um, placed down. So about digital marketing, actually digital marketing is so wide such that um, but it's basically about online marketing. Whatever you can sell online, you connect your customers to your business, you make your you make your um, the presence of your business available online such that when people are looking for your availability, you can um, show them and then let them see. I'm Oladeli Adrasbe Alice from the Department of Anatomy for the name. I'm also a participant of Empower Ladukai, digital marketing course to be precise. Well, I attended this program purposely because I want to promote my own business. But when I got there, I got to know that digital marketing is not about you having your own business alone. You can also help others to promote their own business because digital marketing is also called online marketing. It helps it helps brand and fame to promote their business, to gain more audience and making more sales. Through that, I learned a lot of things, and thanks to our facilitator who also helped us to, to secure more uh, more space online, to acquire more certificates in this course particularly. Thanks to Mr. Bolo Atife Thank you. Uh, my name is Tony Samuel. I mean, uh, animal production and health faculty over Greek, and um, I'm learning makeup. Uh, why I decided to learn makeup is that uh, makeup is something I feel it is lucrative. It is something I had interest in ever since I was young, and uh, I feel it's something that is going to take me somewhere. Of course, I'm a guy who likes to do something a little bit different from his peers, and that's why I decided to go into makeup. And uh, ever since I've been here, I've learned lots of things: how to draw brow, how to apply concealer, foundation, how to tie gilly, and how to give a shout out to our trainees because. They've been our trainers, sorry, because they've been uh, nice to us. They've taught us a lot of things, and I pray God is going to continue to bless them. 
and also I want to give a big shout out to the president, the chairman, and each and every one of us who have assisted in making this program successful. And I pray God is going to continue to bless us in Jesus' name. My name is um, Akao Michael Olaolua, a creative designer. I'm opportunity to be the facilitator for graphics design class. Okay. So far, so good. We thank God for how he has been helping us and how far we've covered. Though we should know that now graphics or let me say design generally has evolved from what we just commonly look at something that is not relevant now to something that is very relevant. Even as a startup entrepreneur, you need a design. And for that, you need to consult a creative or a graphic design. My name is Adeo Edamola. I'm a student of Lautech and Faculty of Agricultural Science, 100 level student. And I'm a fashion designer. I'm the facilitator for this unit. We started this program three weeks ago and it's ending this week. So far, we, we feel accomplished. These students, they've learned a lot. Some have had experience about fashion before, some doesn't have. But with what we've been doing, I think they all feel accomplished. They, they've learned a lot. Even though three weeks is not enough for fashion, but I can tell you that these students, they, they, are, they are so impressed. They know from here they can take it anywhere to go far in life if they plan on becoming a fashion designer. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's last class on front end web development. And it's a privilege to have you guys around. I really, really enjoyed the class with you guys. It was nice. Thank you, thank you. You guys really proved yourself and it was amazing. The project I gave to you all was really, really cool and you guys have tried so far. And I'm enjoying the class and I wish to continue with you guys, um, probably in my own space and we'll talk about that. So I'll be asking for you questions from you guys and I'll be pointing some people to talk. I'll be to start from Faith. Um, Faith, can you please stand up? The first to do this. Please give her a round of applause as she's standing up. Um, Faith, what can you say about the class so far? What have you learned from it? Um, the class has been very interesting ones. Great. Like, before, I don't know anything about the initial that we were talking about. Um, basically, the fight. Actually, what kind of things do I imagine? And then I can say the future that we're Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, from behalf of the students here, you are saying a very big thank you to the SCG president for giving us this opportunity and for I personally to be able to pass down the knowledge to the students. We are saying a very big thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Adao Kadija at Bolani, 500 level from the Department of Pure and Applied Chemistry. I'm the one taking the, uh, Ghana, the production of Ghana soap. We have like three weeks for the program. The first week, I took them um, the Ghana soap, the production of the Ghana soap, right? Yes. The second one is um, the liquid soap, Isa, bath soap, pomade, and sanitizer, right? Yes. This is Ushuti Ayobami I'm the brand owner of Oliveke. I'm the facilitator for the air slash cream making. And we've actually been doing well. It was a three week course, and people have actually turned up. I think we taught over 100 students, and they've done very well. They were able to make creams themselves, and they were able to make soaps themselves. We did liquid soap, we did air cream, we did body cream, and everything was perfect. Good morning, my name is Ola Wiyamato uh, from BC department, but also for the 400 level students. And I'm privileged to be one of the candidate to learn soap and cream making. I must say the program has been helpful and relating to the department I am. 
accounting uh, department. The majority of what we have been doing in class is theory, and me coming here seeing how everything is being done, it has been a great privilege and it has been helpful. The truth is that that uh, has made everything so look easy because I have been to class and we have been talking about glycerin, they have been talking about uh, all of that chemicals. But coming here and seeing them real life make it so make it so much interesting, and I really appreciate the privilege I have received. My name is Samuel Wakwe Nimeanimasha, founder of Soft Market. I'm a web designer, I'm a web developer, a graphic designer, and I'm also the, I'm also a data analyst. Um, as of now, I'm the facilitator of data science. Um, in this world that we are now, um, data analysis is going along with me. And um, big appreciation to the SDG president who have been this great opportunity to the student of how to capital University of Technology because um, at this point data science is going to be very long and uh, it's going to get to a point whereby people may really be data scientists. My name is Alani Aisha Todrayo, student of the Department of Science Laboratory Technology and I'm a fresh graduate. I'm in the Babin unit of Empower Ladokite skill acquisition. So it has been interesting learning Babin because I've always think it is very, very difficult to bab. I've learned addressing before. So I was thinking to incorporate Babin into my addressing in the future to be fantabulous. So and our facilitator has been trying. I'm very, very trying. So the technicality of barbing the hair, I've been able to grab it in just two weeks of my stay in the unit. So for example, shaping the front air is different from shaping the back air. So when you want to shape the front air, you have to mind the curve or the shape of the hairstyle of the guy before he starts shaving. And <laughs> student in of Lautech has been wonderful. I never expect this thing. This is my seven years in Lautech. I never, I never, I never, I never thought they would, I'll, I'll be able to attend a skill acquisition before I leave Lautech. So I'm very, very grateful. Thank you very much. Good morning. I'm uh, Adekwaju Agode Ibrahim, also known as KBEST. I'm the owner of uh, Lautech Saloon, located at the Student Union Building. I'm a facilitator uh, of the Lao current Lao Tech uh, empowerment at the Babi unit. So um, I'm very happy the turnout has been okay and the, the students have been doing wonderfully well. And uh, it's quite encouraging. They've learned so many things. Most of them can cut, they can blend, and they can shape very well. They've learned low cuts. They've learned some side cuts, including Obama, Afro, Afro, Two Steps, um, Punk, and other styles. We've been learning about UI, UX. I told them that UI, UX, they are two different things, but one person can major on the two, depending on your choice. So I will, we'll talk about UX, which is the user and experience. I'll talk about UI as well. We did some design, and these are the designs you can see on the screen. And I hope you guys have been benefiting from the car so far. Has it, has it worth it at all? Does it worth the time? I can't hear also. Does it worth it? So now, like, you can, like you've heard the students echoed that they've been benefiting from what we've been teaching so far. So I want to use this opportunity to thank the SU Student Union Government Lautech Chapter for giving me this opportunity to impart I want to say thank you for organizing this kind of program and we'd love to see more, 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 more of this kind of program. Thank you very much. My name is Nicola. I'm a founder of the CEO of the and a founder of the So, we are going to train for the lab of the So, currently, we are training our students, and our students are taking their practical session because we've done training session last week. So they are taking their practical section now. So we taught them how to how to make different type of changing 
now it's people the non butter and the country changing. So we taught them how to make different types of butter food, how to make the butter food, and how to make native tissue before, and how to get the perfect picture of their products. Then we also taught them how, how to make it so that they can their products after being a baker. So we didn't just teach them to know a lot, we taught them to know, to know and how to get that. Manuel from the Department of SLT, under level students. I'm here doing catering and decoration, which is led by the SUD president, Tim Arise. So today we are doing catering and decoration. And I also want to appreciate our facilitators, Sister Dayo and Sister Adiola. Right now, I'm doing catering and decoration. So in order for me not to do cyber crime, I'm doing catering and decoration so that it will fresh money for me and to build up my academic status. So my name is Adiola Jialade. I'm the CEO from Brazil Foods. So I'll be rating the students. We have over 250 students came for the empowerment program. I would say 80% of the students have been so responsive. So that is kudos to them. So can we say thank you to Lautech Student Union Government for this opportunity? Yeah. I am the facilitator for print production. Um, organized a program organized by President Adepoye Anulu Akpo. In my class, we have discussed a lot about paint, chemicals needed, how to, we discussed little about how to apply, and definitely I gave them a bonus on different um, options to do. Thereby, we spoke about emotion paint, we spoke about flex, we spoke about um, text codes, and I gave them about satin also. And definitely in their handouts, they will be having satin as a bonus too. That is from the bottom of my heart because this student has been the best student I can ever do. And I'm very sure in the nearest future, I'll be hearing names like Laura Paints. I'll be hearing names like Pixel Paints. I'll be hearing names like Royal Paints, um, Royal Highness Paints, and many more. I'm Madai Benjamin in Adamnari, from the Department of Cyber Security Science. I'm the photography unit, lab tech and environment program. So we've learnt a lot in photography. So we, uh, we have type of photography, we have landscape photography, we have portrait photography. And so far I've been able to handle the camera, so I was told the right hand is for grip and the left hand is for support. So, and after this, I plan venturing into the program. I can't just wait to lose this opportunity granted to us by Arnold Wapot. I'm goodness by name, I'm known as Opatel, director of Opatel Photography Studios. To the glory of God, I've been in this business for a while now. And what I would love to say is, I would love to thank the student union government for empowering our students, for giving them the chance to learn at the feet of Opatech Photography Studios. <laughs> Meanwhile, they've been able to react positively, they've been doing well, at least to an extent. Uh, 80% of them have been able to shoot very well to some extent. To some extent. Thank you, God bless you. My name is Kalakwe Nguyemos, the facilitator for interior decoration. Yeah, I appreciate this privilege of teaching the students. I've actually started the lectures for like three to two weeks ago. And then the lectures, the interaction has been nice, great. And then about interior to normal human beings' life. Definitely everybody knows that okay, it's beautification. But now, I'm going to tell you that it performs more than that. It actually helps people in the way they should live their lifestyle, the way it should be, how, and definitely how you can build a good community. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, class. As you all know, my name is Adekoju Oyinolua, also known as what? Now, today we'll be having some revision. Please, can someone tell me the basic materials or instruments we use in making bag. Who can try? I miss me. Yeah. 
Jesus. We have both. We have Alex. We have Zilla. A round of applause for her. I'm wasting much of our time. Can someone just tell me what you learned so far? Good evening. My name is Demi Uh Before I've been long to know us. But I'm passionate about it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's not actually so close. Actually, so close. For that part, there are so many opportunities that I missed, but this one, eh? I didn't miss it. So, just before. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. 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 H
My name is Olu Soji Adelike Faith from the Department of Fine and Applied Arts, Textile Section. Um, I'm the one in charge of tie and dye for empowerment, the Lautech SUG organized. And seriously, I'm happy to be the facilitator here. And as you can see, we are here on another section, which is different from tie and dye, but actually tie and dye together. But what happened is that I would like you to meet some of my students. My name is Ajibaya Ndeyunafero. I'm from the Department of Nursing and the 200 level students. I came here for the time and that. I learned a lot during these three weeks. I learned about bleeding, blue eyes, and, and many others. I learned how to do different kinds of fabric, batik and so on. I sold my work yesterday at the rate of 4,000 euros. I would like to thank the SUG in person of Ano Luapo, our president, the OO1 of Ladu Capital University of Technology. So my name is Theod Badi Adili Jimaiwa, a student of uh, 300 level computer science. Uh, I am the tutor for Python course based by Ladu Python. So I have introduced you guys to what Python is all about. Yes, sir. So I would like to know what Python is about. Like what is Python? Like what can we use Python for? Data science. Okay, someone have mentioned data science. Mm -hmm. Web development. Web development. Artificial hacking. Artificial intelligence, and so on and so forth. Uh, I used to say something like. Um, I would say, what is the essence of being a programmer? So, so, so programmers are called problem solvers. So as a programmer, you should be able to identify a problem and do it and solve it. The thing about, you know, uh, the actual thing about everything is that uh, this article that they are going to give us after we graduate, most the it will be useful. But the thing is, our skills are what we are actually going to do to feed us. So we appreciate the students in your government for giving us this. Love you. With me here is the chairman of Empower Ladukait Committee, Assis Olasukomi. Mr. Assis Olasukomi, can you tell us how, how you were able to plan this Empower Ladukait program? What are the challenges, the difficulties? Yeah, thank you very much for that very good question. Um, as we promised Ladukai during our campaign, which we could name Arise. Okay. So the last part of our um, five-point agenda is empowerment. So actually, we plan to do the uh, empowerment program at some point in time. But due to the actual national strike, which came up a um, few weeks ago, so we tried to seize the opportunity to bring up the fifth agenda of our mandate which is empowerment so we have limited time to plan this empowerment program because we um like i said before we took advantage of the asu strike so we want to do the thing within four weeks she gets um the challenges we face uh, here challenges we face is we have difficulties in gather facilitator gathering facilitator for the program so Due to the fact that we have limited time, we just reach out to a lot of people. Some are demanding um, money from us to for them to tutor to our students. So in the end, we find um, we found um, facilitators that actually want to do the thing for free. So most of them are Ladukites, some are graduates, some are still studying here, and a very few of them are not our students. So the other thing, the other challenge we face is issue of fund. So to plan is uh, that huge um, event in a limited time. So we try doing our uh, try all our capability to get fund because let me shock you. All of the um, throughout the event, we don't collect any money from the student uh, from the student account post. So we source the things out, reaching out to a lot of sponsors to get the the necessary material for the empower empowerment program. So those are the challenges we faced. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Olasukomi. Yeah, um, good morning, Oladukait. Um, my name is Opaleke Okiki Ibrahim. 
the General Secretary Lautex to the Antinian government. So far so good, we've been able to organize the Empower Lautex, the Empower Ladokites, and it's been a success. Though when we're doing, when we're organizing the Empower Lautex, we faced some challenges in far reaching out to our facilitators, but God be the glory, we're able to reach out to facilitators which take our students for free. And I will use this medium to say a very big thank you to every facilitators that are partake in the Empower Lautech. And I also commend the action of all students of Ladoki Akintola University for turning out to seize the opportunity of Empower Lautech and make it a big O. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, Avia, so right here with me is our effervescent leader, the president of the student union government, in person of Anulua Deboye, the brain behind the Empower Ladukite initiative. Mr. President, sir, it's nice meeting you. Please tell us the, your motive behind the Empower Ladukite. Okay, back then when I was campaigning for the office of the president, I manifesto was based on five points agenda which I tagged Arise and the last letter for Arise is he as empowerment. I told all the students then that um, when I assume the office I'm going to empower them and uh, it was done on me after he marched to fulfill this promise and that was what brought about the empower Ladokite to equip the students with digital and non-digital skills for them to be financially independent and also to become employers of labor. Very well. Our president is a man of his word. He gave his word and he has kept to it. Now sir, please tell us, what do you see in Power Ladokite after now? Is there hope of it continuing? Yeah, I see continuity in the Empower Ladokite because since over 30 years ago that the institution has been founded, this is the very first of its kind coming from the student union. So I see this as a challenge even to Lautech Center for Entrepreneurs to leverage on this. If it is once in a session, they should train students on digital and non-digital skills for free. We did it, uh, we did our home for free. And also I see the coming ones, the coming executives, the presidents to also leverage on this and make it a continuity because the Empire Ladukite has already become a brand and a household name in Lautech. Alright, so there is hope for Empire Ladukite to continue after now. So sir, you may want to appreciate some brands or individuals who had made this initiative a success. Uh, there are numerous set of brands and dignitaries that I want to shout out to. But I want to say thank you to the management of the university, the Dean Student Affairs, the Director of LICT, the HODs, the Deans and uh, brands that supported this initiative. I want to say thank you to uh, the facilitators, the committees and uh, also my diligent and dedicated CEC members, Team Harris. Thank you, Ladu guys. I so appreciate you. I love you. Love Face TV, you are the best. Okay. It's a pleasure having our president, sir. Thank you very much for having your audience. And thank you all for listening. Thank you very much. Uh, I am Professor Ike Azim Oladi. I'm the current Dean of Student Affairs at Ladu Kiatala University of Technology. Good much. Well, we, in the first instance, I want to appreciate the initiative of uh, the Student Union President uh, on Skill Acquisition Tact in Power Lab To be honest with you, and without missing the word, this is first of its kind <coughs> in Lab Tech. We are, in Student Union Government, we organize a program that will be of great benefits to students. Not at a time when the university lecturers are on strike, where students are not currently engaged in academic activities. And this guy thought of organizing this program for them. I think it's highly beneficial and uh, commendable. Like I said earlier, when we 
own product. I told the students that university is a place where you acquire universal knowledge, not only the department you are being admitted to. And I appreciate Anu Lua for giving the student the opportunity of exploring additional knowledge in students. If we observe all it did, more than about 10 areas of uh, skill were exposed to the student. I want to tell you that this student, some of them were going to pick up their fortune from all this area because some of them might, might, not, might, might have not actually uh, 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 determined the area in which they are good. But with this now, to expose them to all these areas and they pick their, their fortune there. And like I've been telling students generally, this is what we want from students. Not a situation whereby they will be fighting each other on issues that are not beneficial. Eh? We have condemned over time the issue of party policies and all that. It is of no benefit at all. For Anu to do this means that he is not. Uh, uh, it, it is not. It doesn't belong to the school of thought of all these party partisan politics within the system. It creates enmity. For bringing about three thousand students together means that it stands for uh, unity. It stands for uh, a success of all the students in the university. Now to believe, not even the parent alone, the vice chancellor and his management team appreciate what. Anudua is doing. Engaging the students at the time when they're supposed to be high do wants it to be sustained. Finally, it's been two weeks since the commencement of the Empower Labukites initiative. And you will agree with me that this initiative has been a wonderful experience and a great success. This has been a lifetime opportunity for the students and the Ladukites have been very responsive to it. What is more to it, the student union government of this great institution has been fulfilling their mandate and I believe that they won't stop, ever. Now, what do you think of all Hester? Apparently, you've mentioned it all. The immense and energy gratitude of the student goes to the organizer of Empower Ladukites, the planning committee led by comrade Olasukomi Assis, the student general government led by President Anulua Po Adibuye, the facilitators, the vice chancellor, and the governing council of this great institution, Laduke Akintola University of Technology. Thank you all for your audience.